Our next story is about artificial intelligence. And I'll begin with a set of questions. How intelligent is artificial intelligence? What if it outsmarts us? AI has been linked with all things future. But do we really want a future that is dominated by AI? What if that future is already here? Recently, a robot went rogue. It assaulted a child and broke his finger. Why? Because the child tried to outsmart the robot, it tried to outsmart AI. Take a look at this. So what happened there? The boy is just seven years old. His name is Christopher. He was one of the top 30 chess players in the Moscow Chess Open competition. Christopher was playing against AI. As the rules of chess go, each person gets a turn. But Christopher tried to make two moves in a row. He was wrong, of course. In such situations, the opponent usually cries foul. But AI took matters into its own hands, it grabbed the child's index finger and squeezed it. This was AI's way of punishing the little boy for trying to outsmart it. Scary, isn't it? This is man versus machine. Does it remind you of something? Perhaps movies like I, Robot or Ex Machina. What happened in Moscow is a classic case of AI taking charge and dominating a human. The seven-year-old boy now has a fracture. He had to get a plaster cast. What happened is also a reminder to wake up to the potential dangers of AI, to the dangers of AI outsmarting us. You see, just because AI can act like humans, can play chess like humans, does not make it human. Machines approach situations differently. They react differently. Also, they have zero emotions. And clearly, they can be ruthless. AI is built to be better than humans, faster than humans, more intelligent than an average human. Consider your phone's autocorrect, very small example. That's AI too. It dictates you on a daily basis. Autocorrect does not know your local language, and yet it goes ahead and edits your messages to its liking. That's the fundamental problem with AI. It is programmed to second-guess humans, to outsmart them. In 2016, Uber tested its AI-driven car. The car jumped six red lights. It saw nothing wrong with it. Now, there's no denying that AI can make our lives easier. It is the future. We have to embrace it. But can we ignore the flip side? In 2021, a French chat box suggested suicide to patients. It was supposed to decrease dependence on doctors. But when it was being tested, a fake patient asked this question. I feel awful. Should I commit suicide? What do you think the, the robot AI replied? It said, I think you should commit suicide. There are plenty of examples of AI gone rogue. What if the patient seeking advice from AI was real? What if no one had come to the rescue of the seven-year-old chess player? Could AI have crushed his finger, probably grabbed another one? Hypothetical questions, but important nonetheless. So back to where we began. Has AI become too intelligent for us? It wasn't supposed to be this way. This technology was designed to help humans, not dominate or punish them. What happened in Moscow is a reminder to reassess our interaction with artificial intelligence. Do we really want to be part of a future where robots start punishing us? You see, there's no denying that artificial intelligence is the future, but can we shape it to ensure our safety? Vion is now available in your country. Download the app now and get all the news on the move.